fair to say I think things didn't go as planned. Did you guys get played? No, I think that the American people saw the arrogance and entitlement of the president's son. Look, uh, we've been very transparent with this administration, uh, with this investigation from day one. Uh, we've published four bank memorandums. Uh, we've talked about uh, and, and demonstrated mountains of evidence with respect to the fact that the Bidens have received millions and millions of dollars from our enemies around the world, and we don't know what they did to receive the money. They don't own hotels. They don't own real estate. They don't own legitimate businesses. They don't provide services. They don't manufacture anything. What exactly did they do to receive the money? The president's son refuses to come in and answer questions. Uh, he's more than welcome to show up for a committee hearing after a deposition. Every investigation, whether it's a congressional investigation or whether it's an investigation by local and law enforcement, they bring people in for depositions at the end of the investigations. We have all these questions about specific bank transactions significant amounts of money that came from Russia, China, Uzbekistan, Ukraine, uh, Romania, to the Biden family that was then dispersed through di different uh, fake companies and ended up in the personal hmm. bank accounts of 10 different Biden family members. The American people want to know what did the Bidens do. And today we held Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress. He showed up. You heard Moskowitz, you played the clip there that said, Hunter Biden's here to answer questions. Two minutes later, his time expired, and I recognized Marjorie Taylor Greene. She was going to ask him questions. He ran out of there. So, in my opinion, the Bidens are the ones that got played today. Well, Marjorie, if Marjorie Taylor Greene was going to ask him questions, does that mean that you all would accept uh, and hold a hearing for Hunter uh, and allow him to testify publicly? After the deposition, he can. After the deposition, but you just said Marjorie Taylor Greene was going to ask him questions. Hunter. Yeah. So I mean, we, well, he okay, wasn't so supposed to be there. Well, if he, if he'll You're come back and answer questions. Yeah, in a deposition, he will come back and answer questions in a deposition, and then he can have a public hearing. Marjorie Taylor Greene will get five minutes. Dan Goldman will get five minutes. Then Pat Fallon will okay. get five minutes, and we'll go down the the, the aisle. But right well, now, you, it's very important that you you realize that Hunter Biden doesn't make the rules, and when Democrats were in control, they didn't let people say, "Oh, we'll only come." If it's, a, if it's a hearing, they made them sit for depositions first. We're doing Hunter Biden the exact uh, same way that others that have been involved in, in congressional investigations have been treated in the past. Right. The, the, look, that's a perfectly fair point, and, and you make a, a fair, fair analysis that that's how things have been done uh, in the past. Let's just stipulate for a moment that Hunter Biden did some really bad things, uh, and I'm not talking about the, the drugs and the sex and the women. Um, as you point out, uh, at the very least, he sold out America and tried to peddle his father's name and got money from America's enemies, specifically China. And you think about uh, the people he was taking money from in Russia. These are not good people. So, so that is stipulated. Um, I guess what I'm trying to figure out, and, and look, I'm just a, a guy from the Midwest. I'm not political, but I'm, I'm thinking about the optics here, not exactly the facts that you were talking about. He comes to the hearing. Uh, and he gets screamed at, he gets called names, he gets insulted. I'm not talking about partisans. I'm talking about independent voters who just watched and heard the, the commotion of today. Some have called it a circus. Is there any chance that you're making people, and I know this is hard to imagine, but making people feel bad for Hunter Biden? No, I don't think so. Only uh, liberals that uh, are, are obsessed with Trump. Look, at the end of the day, we have a simple question. What did you do to receive the millions of dollars from our enemies around the world? If he can answer that question, we'll pretty much be done with him. But we have specific transactions. Look, this, this individual hasn't been truthful. There's a reason he's indicted in two federal courts right now. There's a reason he's on a plane back to California right now for a hearing tomorrow in front of a federal judge. He's been in trouble. He's in trouble with the IRS, with the FBI, with the Department of Justice, with the House Oversight Committee, with the House Judiciary Committee. This is a guy that's made a lot of mistakes. We're yeah. investigating his father. We're trying to determine whether or not Joe Biden is compromised because of the millions of dollars his, his family's received from our enemies around the world. We have specific questions. They said he came there to answer questions today. The first question he had, he bolted out of there. So, I mean, they can try to create a narrative that, that he was there but, to but, answer but, questions, but when Mr. someone Chairman, attempted to ask him a question, he left. Okay, but I, again, I, I, I'm mm -hmm. trying to understand. Marjorie Taylor Greene was trying to ask him a question, you say, but that was in a public hearing. But you're saying you're not going to ask him any questions in a public hearing, only privately first. So was this his one opportunity to answer questions publicly? I'm just trying to figure, figure it out. 
No, no, no. After the deposition, he's more than welcome okay. to come back whenever he wants. After the deposition. Right. That's been the, that's I, been the get, deal from day one. You get no argument, and, and I say this again, about the bad things that Hunter Biden has done, and, and he has certainly compromised himself, as you point out, how, how and why this money came to the Biden family is important things to figure out. Um, Eric Erickson, um, who's, a, I know, a, a staunch conservative uh, today, we are all focused on the clown show and the crackhead, and conservatives um, are getting outmaneuvered. Um, he would point to, among other things, that this, uh, the Republican House, uh, controlled by Republicans, uh, has passed 27 bills and held 724 votes. That's more votes and less lawmaking and less passing uh, in modern history. And I, I guess what I'm trying to understand is, what, what is your message to conservatives who say, we want to fix the border? Uh, we care about curtailing spending. There's, there's real issues. Um, and these mm -hmm. kinds of things are distractions. Now, this isn't a distraction. The, the Oversight Committee is 5% of the mm -hmm. House of Representatives. Our job is to hold people accountable. Our job is to investigate waste, fraud, abuse, and mismanagement of the government. That's what we're doing. We're doing our job. The full Congress, we're, the Republicans at least, are focused on securing the border. We've done everything. We're threatening to shut the government down. We're doing everything to try to uh, force Joe Biden and, and uh, uh, Mayorkas to do their job, and that's to secure the southern border. So uh, one reason that, that Republicans have had so many difficulties passing the budget is we're trying to do anything we can to force the president of the United States to protect the American people by, by securing the southern border. So it is a priority for Republicans. We're going to continue to, to focus on that. And with respect to the number of bills passed, true conservatives would uh, would they're, they're leery when you pass hundreds of bills. Look, the, the Democrats passed a bill called the Inflation Reduction Act. All that did was significantly increase inflation. So they passed a lot of bills. They were bad bills. Sometimes it's better to pass fewer bills if they're quality bills. And I think that's what Republicans have done over the past 12 months. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.